Welcome back to Great Day Washington. One of the most loved novels in America has been adapted to film and now to the stage. Aaron Sorkin's adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird has made its way here to D.C. That's right, and we stopped by the Kennedy Center to speak with the Emmy Award winning actor Richard Thomas, who plays the beloved character Atticus Finch. When I was a boy, I had my father gave me one of those air rifles, an air rifle. He said I could shoot all the Blue Jays I want, probably knowing I'd never be able to hit one. But to always remember that it was a sin to kill a mockingbird. People are so excited for this to come here to the Kennedy Center. And for most people, it's the book that they read yes. in middle school or high school. Did you also read the book in middle school or high school? I did read it. I did read it. And it's a very good time to read the book because when young people who are that age are, are that's right at the point at which they begin to develop their feelings of social about social justice and about community, create their own sense of community within the larger community, which is very much what our play is about. But to read it as an adult and from the perspective of a parent, it's a very different experience and I encourage people to read it again if they enjoyed it when they were young. And then also it's just interesting that this story, like you said, it's, it's timeless, really mm -hmm. the story, but people are watching it now from the lens of 2023. That's right. And kind of things that have changed yeah. from when the book first came out. He has, he has told the story with utter faithfulness to the spirit of the novel and we can view the story through the lens of how we think about these social justice issues now. And that's a great thing um, because it doesn't ever feel like a museum piece or an homage to a great classic. It's, not, it's, it's very vital and very pertinent to how we are actually feeling about these things now. You've been on screen and stage for 60 years. It's a my, my actor's equity card will be 65 years old this October. So, yeah. An incredible career. But you play <laughs> no, I'm still standing. You're still standing. You're still <laughs> being, you're playing these iconic characters, incredible roles. But what is it about Atticus that like keeps you going with this show? Well, Atticus is one of the great characters in American fiction and one of the most beloved, if not the most beloved generally, because he embodies so much of our aspiration as a people, you know, who we would like to be. And one of the great things that Aaron Sorkin has done is to create an Atticus who is, I would, I, I have to say it, I think a little more accessible more teachable, more in need of teaching. Uh, he's taken him off his pedestal, he's given him a wonderful sense of humor, and he's given him a hero's journey, which is not just about being sort of perfect, but learning where he is imperfect and, and where he falls on the spectrum of community and justice. So it's a much, for me, um, probably a much more challenging and exciting process to constantly investigate his journey. And that, that's what Aaron Sorkin has given all of us who will be playing this part. You have played some iconic roles that we know you, I mean, you, Atticus, of course, and then and the Americans and Ozark, but the Waltons. I got, I mean, how do you, when you look back on that so many years now and just how people still embrace it? It's amazing. I mean, it's like over 50 years old now and people still come. I mean, it used to be, oh, I loved you in the Waltons. It was like, oh, my mom loved you in the Waltons. It's now, oh, my grandma loved you in the Waltons. Like, I used to watch that show with my great grandmother. It's like, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And we're, we're all still very close. You know, we're like a family. And we always were, and so we're always in touch with each other, and it's a, it's beautiful, and I, can't, I still can't believe it. I, I can't believe that I had the good fortune to be not only in a show that was so successful, but that was so good, so that you actually can remember this great success, not just because it did good things for you, but because it was so, so well worth doing. And it was so important during that time. It was, it was the only show of its kind. There was nothing, you know, it was, there were comedy shows, and there were variety shows, and there were cop shows, and lawyer shows, and doctor shows, but there was, there was no story about just a, a drama about a family and a family during hard times, you know. So, and then, uh, and then we got Little House on the Prairie and Eight is Enough and Apple's Way and all those, those long form family stories. 
What a kind man and what a career he's had. Yeah. And I love to when when actors that are in something so instrumental and so epic like still embrace it so many years oh, later. Yeah. Oh yeah, what a he was just a phenomenal and lovely man. That was a wonderful yeah. interview. A few of our producers have gone to see the show. They love it. Say it's amazing. We can't wait to see it. To Kill a Mockingbird is playing at the Kennedy Center now through August 27th. So go and see it.